Jetty, folks. I'm in the Jetty Wolf Mobile, heading to the store. But it always seems like videos while you're driving are popular. Gonna cover a couple bases here. Uh, I always kind of always had a saying starting October 1st, um, you gotta have more than one day uh, if you're planning on going on a charter. You can't just have one day and that's it, you gotta be flexible. And I'm going up this, I'm going down the road that I live near, that's outside my street here. And it's an abs, it's absolutely murder as far as bumps. Um, especially in this truck. It's a three quarter ton. It rides like a, this, my truck rides like a Conestoga wagon. Um, but. You've got to be a little flexible if you're going fishing on a charter after October 1st. And the reason being is that's our transitional time of year and um, we start to get more fronts and the difference between summer, fall, and winter is how close the fronts are. Uh, I'd say we have one front come through in the summertime, you know, maybe every 10 days, and it brings some wind or something like that. But this time of year, the fronts get closer, and you can't really see it, but it is super gloomy and blowing with gusts up to 30 plus miles an hour. I had a charter book for today. A guy and his like 10 year old boy. Um, he was really limited on days that he could go. And I kind of told him, I kind of told him, I might be a little iffy, but we'll go ahead and reserve it. What do we do? We ended up, he wanted, the kid wanted to catch some uh, bull reds or something. And we ended up moving it to, you know, like November 5th on a Sunday or something. Today's Sunday, I think, to, well, tomorrow I think is Halloween. Um, this is the day after the Florida-Georgia football game, which is a huge deal in Jacksonville. But look, I just was out yesterday and it was gorgeous with a, a local eye doctor and I don't know who else I guess his son-in-law and his two grandsons and we caught like six or seven big reds in a half a day so the day before it was gorgeous okay slick calm seas fish were biting I think we had five or six bull reds uh, on that falling tide Getting the right tide and being not on the day when the front's going to blow through. Just last week, it was gorgeous and they said a front was coming through and I watched it. I watched it so close and exactly at 9 p.m. it got overcast and started blowing like holy hell in my neighborhood on my street so um, this is the way it goes all winter long I know I get other than you know taking these kids out I don't know I'm getting so many kids right now and they're back in school which is which is kind of funny I've gone years where I don't have a kid on the boat past the day they go back to school but what it boils down to 100% is the fact that 
the fronts are going to get closer and either you're going to get lucky or you're not and the weather's going to be bad it's going to be blowing and overcast or raining or something but what a, another thing is is always have a backup if you've got one day to fish you're getting whatever mother nature gives you and that should be all common sense uh, another thing you want to do is you want to talk to me well beforehand well before going fishing I mean if you're coming to visit grandma let's say on Thanksgiving you ought to be talking to me a week or two before so I kind of have an idea that there's actually you're wanting to come and you're wanting to do something then Um, I'll get back with you and then or at least a week before because then and you better have a backup day I mean if you're not local I understand a hundred percent but you need to have a backup day um, as of October 1st it's just that's the way it goes so um, I do get my little more diehard fishermen this time of year and a little less a little less you know families out just for a, a good time um, I do get a little more die-hard people and this is I'd say this weekend the Florida Georgia weekend Halloween kind of thing this is the ultimate kickoff right now the fishing from here on out till April inshore inlet coastal fishing is the best of the entire year in Northeast Florida. I know you're, you may be in, you know, Washahegan, Wisconsin, and you want to go, the only time you want to go fishing is when it's 110 degrees in the shade because you came down in, in July into Florida. Well, again, you're going to get what you can get then in short. But now the trout, the sheep's head are starting to bite. People are actually sheep's head fishing kind of already. Um, the bull reds are going off. Uh, the trout are biting. And really, remember again, another thing, this is all the stuff that I tell people on the phone. My inshore fishing, less is more. Two people, maybe three, is the best day. If you want to mix it up, if you want to do other things, you know, catch a bull red, turn around, try to catch some trout or something like that. Um, do a bull red, catch a sheep's head. From here on out till about May, less is more because we fish in current. I only have two sides of the boat okay and inshore fishing from here on out is more of a what would you say it's more very hands-on and when we're doing hands-on difference is is that it's more going on switching up tackle moving and shaking anchoring here going there doing this doing that so a lot of things are different than you know just going out and doing a bunch of uh drift fishing for sharks or something in the summer like we do in the summertime so that's just a little helpful hints have an extra day no i'm not taking eight people out yeah i do take four the wrong question to ask is, how many can your boat hold? Well, my boat is uh, rated for 14 passengers. I ain't doing 14 passengers, that's for damn sure. Two or three from here till April is about the best. Other than that, um, we're going to pretty much be doing kind of one style of fishing. Because I'm only one guy, I can only handle so many people. Just some helpful hints. There's a lot to know, you know, about booking a day. 
uh, you know, don't email me the day before. Call. I have it right, I think I have it right on my website, on my rates page, that if you're calling, if you're wanting to go fishing, anything less than three days in it with advance notice, don't email me. You call. Because um, the weather could be good, and I need to spring to action and get you out there and get you reserved and get you knowing where you're going um, build a plan real quick of what we're going to be doing so I'm doing more than one thing so if you get real specific on me um, it's all to do with the tides and what the weather's doing and how many people are showing up on the boat so, on the way to the store here, these driving down the road videos always seem to be popular. I'm actually going into Wally's World because my refrigerator is bare bones empty and I need some groceries. So, go to my blog, my fishing reports on CaptainDaves.com if you ever want to see more. Alright, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. And I don't think the next one will be sitting in my truck.